my god. Welcome back to another video, guys. In today's video, we're going to be learning and reviewing how to make biconditional statements, how they work, and how we can evaluate them. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin, guys. So, guys, here you can see that we have a truth table which is a truth table that we're going to use for big conditional statements and we are actually going to see the symbols for that we use for big conditional statements right so we have again the hypothesis which is going to be p and we have the conclusion which is going to be q now guys the way in which we read this symbology here is that we write down p if and only if q right so this is how we read this um this arrow which goes in both directions so you can think of big conditional statements as two-way streets so they both have to be true in order for the big conditional statement to be true so or both false so we have if p is true and q is true the big conditional is true if p is true and q is false then it's false false true false but if both p and q are false then we are also proving the big conditional now guys as we see down here you can check also these steps so the first thing is that we write the conditional we write the converse we evaluate both the conditional and its inverse if both are true or both are false then we can write the big conditional as a true statement right with the use of the rule the truth table which we have here so guys feel free to pause the video to make your notes and if you guys are done we are going to check an example okay guys so the example is this one where they're asking us to evaluate the big conditional of this statement and write if that big conditional is actually true or false right so we have first the conditional which says if a human gives birth to a baby then that human is female we know for a fact that if a human gives birth then um that human is going to be female yes it's it's a woman right so that is a true statement but we're gonna see if the big conditional is true now first we're gonna write down the conditional which was already given to us and we're gonna write down the converse now, in order to write the converse, you have to remember that the converse is Q, then P, right? So in this case, it would be if a human is female, which is Q, then that human gives birth to a baby. Right? Which is going to be what we had as the hypothesis in the first one, but now it's the conclusion. Now, if you guys take a look at this, you're going to see that this converse is actually going to be false. Because we know that not all women or not all female humans give birth to a baby because of ethics or biological reasons or economic situations or whatnot, that converse is not true. If a human is female, it, not, it is not necessary that they give birth to a baby, right? They have the capacity to, but that doesn't mean that they will. So that means that this is a false statement. So because we saw that the conditional is true and the converse is false, one is true, the other one is false, so that means that the big conditional is false. So the big conditional which is a human gives birth to a baby If and only if that human 
is female. And we have proved that because the conditional and the converse are not both true or no, not both false, that this big conditional statement is false. Okay? So that is pretty much it for today, guys. Feel free to rewatch the video or write down the steps you, you see here on the left. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills. And make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts. Drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye.